Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. We All Need Forgiveness by Mercer Mayer. Today, Mom made a pineapple upside down cake. I was only going to take a teensy taste when I knocked the cake onto the floor. Oops! Sorry, Mom, I said. That is the most upside down pineapple upside down cake I've ever made, said Mom. It's okay, little critter. Accidents happen sometimes. Dad asked me to get a wrench from the garage. I found one, but the oil can was in the way and the oil spilled onto the floor. I hoped Dad would forgive me for spilling his oil. I went out to the sandbox to play, but my beautiful castle was almost all washed away. I'm sorry, little critter said little sister. I was just watering the garden. It was an accident. Yeah, right, I said. After that, I wanted to color, so I lined up all my crayons in a row. Gray Kitty pounced on them and made a mess. Bad cat, I said. I'm going outside. I stormed out the front door. I went for a ride on my bike, but Timothy rode into me. My bike tipped over and the handlebars got bent. Sorry, little critter, said Timothy, but I was too mad to say it was okay. I put on my mask to go scuba diving. All I needed was my snorkel, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Then Dog jumped into the tub. He had the snorkel in his mouth, and it was all chewed up. Bad dog, I said. At the bus stop, Gabby was trying out my new yo-yo, and she got this string all tangled. I didn't mean to, little critter, she said. I'm never letting you play with my toys again, Gabby, I said. At lunch... I was about to eat my yummy chocolate chip cookie when Henrietta bumped into the table and it fell onto the floor. It broke into a million pieces. Sorry, little critter, said Henrietta. But sorry didn't help one bit because my cookie wasn't good anymore. Then at the dress rehearsal for our play, I waved my arms a little too hard and knocked over the candy house. Gabby and Gator tripped over it, and so did Henrietta. The candy decorations went all over the place, and the whole set came crashing down. It was a mess. Miss Kitty said we had to stop the play and clean up. Now everyone was mad at me because it took us a long time to clean up, and we didn't have time for the fun surprise Miss Kitty had planned. I said I was sorry, but everyone was still mad. When I got home, I told Mom all about the play and how my friends were mad at me. Don't worry, said Mom. They will forgive you. Everyone needs to forgive one another, just as God forgives each and every one of us. And when we forgive someone who's done something wrong, it makes us feel better too. Try it. You'll see. I went out to my treehouse to think. Mom was right. I didn't always forgive everyone right away, and it made me feel awful. Just then, I heard Gabby yelling, so I peeked outside. My friends were in her backyard. We need someone else if we want to play football, said Tiger. Then I heard someone say my name. After that, 
There was a lot of mumbling. It sounded like mad mumbling. I figured they were still mad and they weren't going to forgive me. I heard Gabby call my name. I peeked out again. All my friends were in my yard and little sister was pointing right at the tree house. All my friends asked me to play. They had forgiven me and now we were all going to have fun. We played a great game of football and nobody got mad at anybody. We all need forgiveness, just like mom said. It's the only way everyone can be happy. The end. Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.